Forbes has released a list of the <laughs> highest paid actors of 2023. Let's take a look at the top five. OK, there is actually two actors who tied for the number four spot. So starting with Matt Damon, who made 43 million thanks to his roles in Air and the box office hit Oppenheimer. He tied with Ryan Gosling, who also made 43 million from the Barbie movie. He also benefited from his song I'm Just Ken that has been streamed more than 100 million times online. Number three on the list is Tom Cruise. He made $45 million last year. He did some of his own stunts in Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1. Number two on the list, Margot Robbie. She made $59 million. She's the youngest actor on the list. She played Barbie, but she, will also, she was also the executive producer of the film. Number one, are we ready? Adam Sandler. $73 million. The majority of the money he made came from his partnership deal with Netflix and the films he created for them. Wowzer. Yeah. That's insanity. $73 million. That's crazier than you saying. Wowzer. I never thought it was. <laughs> yeah. I That's like I feel like, like an inspector gadget. <laughs> um, I didn't think that Adam Sandler would even be in the top 10. Well, he runs his own studio yep. and has for a while, and it's really the Tyler Happy Perry Madison, effect. Right? Yep. Happy Madison Productions. He's been doing it for a while, and, you know, it's been kind of alleged that the Academy doesn't recognize a lot of his work. I think he felt snubbed by Uncut Gems. He was great if, at if, Uncut He was Gems. really good in that. Yep. And so I think he was like, I'm taking my ball and going home. And he showed us that you can do it on your own. And, and initially, when Tyler Perry did it, people laughed. True. When he did it, people were like, well, you're not going to work in this town again. And 73 Three million dollars later in one year. Looks like he made the right decision, Copy. He also mm -hmm. just, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. You were. No, go on. He just makes really good, he makes good movies he wants to make in places he wants to make with people he wants to I make, know. and that's it. It's just Hawaii all with Jennifer friends. Aniston over and over and over again. <laughs> that's all he does. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Continue. I didn't yeah. need to know. Well, no, I think there's something to, um, he is kind of the template for like a lot of young creators or even young in the industry, even if you're not considered young. Um, the idea, to Tori's point, that he, you know, uses people that he wants to work with. And I think a lot of people are not going for these big, you know, companies anymore. They're creating things on their own. I do have to say, though, the discrepancy in terms of like having this conversation about Ryan Gosling, who a lot of people are like 100 million streams. I'm just going to say I'm just Ken is an earworm. I, we, we just we got to listen to it. I don't know. No, we don't. But I it bothers. Song, but. but the issue in the industry right now is you have like a Terrence Howard who has been around forever and he He's fighting for money, for rights, for songs that he has, but his character was credited. Oh, so it's wow. like, or Taraji P. Henson, mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. has brought up the pay disparity when it comes to uh, black actresses yep. or any actors of color, particularly women. So, uh, you know, I obviously anyone wants to be in this boat of being the highest paid actor. I love the template of Adam Sandler because that's something that's in a lot of people's Control. control exactly just yeah. so you know Denzel speaking to your point is the only actor Denzel Washington sorry is the only actor of color on the entire list yeah so of the top 10 wow all right well tomorrow is International Women's Day and to celebrate Barbie has added some new dolls to their role model collection women selected include Viola Davis not only is she an EGOT recipient she also has a production company with her husband focused on giving a voice to the voiceless Juvie Productions there you go Helen Mirren also chosen, Helen supports many, many organizations for women and children, and she was also the narrator in the Barbie movie. Juvie also, Productions. No. That was her, too. <laughs> also recognized Kylie Minogue. Her Barbie is dressed in red, paying homage to her costumes in the Padam Padam music video. And five-time Grammy winner Shania Twain posted a fun video with her Barbie reenacting a Ken scene from the Barbie movie. And this is more honorary, right? I think they're, ma they're yes, making one yes, Barbie. Yes, uh, Sam, I have information here on this card. The dolls are not for sale at all. They are only one of a kind. They are made only for the honored women. So Love no it. one can get to them. I like that though. It's Didn't almost like get they're to them. No, you can't own it's one. It's just right, but they're for not them. precious jewels. Kind of, they are. No, but they are kind of. They're like collectible. No. Yeah, they are. They're not yeah. precious jewels. There's one of a kind. Yeah, so they're they're there's a lot of. I can make on... something at home this afternoon no. that's one of a kind. No, <laughs> if that went on the auction block, I bet it'd get some money. I'm not saying that there's valueless. I'm just saying she uses a big word. It's a, it's a gem. It's a gem. That's what they are. Okay, it's a gem. Schneider. I agree. Okay.
All right, we got time for one more. <laughs> Many highly accomplished women attended the Billboard Women in Music Awards last night in LA. Tracy Ellis Ross hosted the event that celebrated women in music across all genres. Some artists were honored with awards, including Australian singer Kylie Minogue, who won the Icon Award. But everyone is talking about the questionable fashion choices. Uh, uh huh. Unfortunately, starting off with the host, Tracy Ellis Ross. All right, her multicolored dress was very drapey, some are saying. I'm Al. all in on this. Okay. I Al. like it. Very Dune-like. Okay, and you're really into Dune. All right, yes. Kylie Minogue, what do we think of her black mermaid dress with I a bit of sparkle on top? Needs a new stylist. I think the hair looks boring. I think she just looks, she could do better Okay. in the past couple of red carpets. What about Katy Perry's two-piece red outfit? This is a no. This is, yeah. You got the early 2000s thong oh moment. Yep. Yeah. Nothing should ever that, go Good swoop boy. underneath a belly yep with a corset compressing Agreed. It, it's just it's all yeah. no she's but beautiful her, but it's ill-fitting she's giving audrey hepburn from the neck up yeah but yeah. what's but with the everything thing else too, the mermaid tail it almost like color? yeah maybe it was too short right. and then they added a tutu wow. underneath yeah no. that's terrible huh okay rapper and singer saweetie wore a simple black dress but on her hip was a lobster i like that i okay i want a different crustacean i, I want yeah. i think like a seashell or something like a lobster like seems pinchy and like very uninvited. I think it looks like it's like clawing, keeping her protected like the ocean. Okay. All right. Next country <laughs> singer Lainey Wilson looked a little casual in a tie dye look with, Ooh. oh wow, with bell bottoms. Okay. I want her to lose the hat. We still haven't seen her forehead. But okay. she has a southwestern style. You can see the turquoise. Yeah, you but can the see 70s the... share thing with that is a lot going on. Too much going on for Tori, but Al likes it. Sam, are you getting some Tom Sandoval vibes from that? No. What? It's not at all. I've been watching too much Vanderpump. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> no. Lastly, uh, Ellie Goulding wore a white gown with a sparkled wave light top. Sam, what do you think about that? Boring. Yeah. All right. All of it was boring. Yeah. Even yeah. Tracy Ellis Ross's was boring to it me. It was all draped. So it was it's, like it original. It looked like she fell in a parachute and it caught her. I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it did. But I liked it. I really, I like when people take risks a little bit. I like Laney's outfit. I like Southwestern. You, you like know, Laney's outfit. I don't think and his obscure it's not reference. Flattering. No. At no. all. Like she, yeah. It should come she, with a hookah. Yeah, <laughs> it should. Doesn't it look like a hookah? Those line? are like the drapes you have to walk through to get to the hookah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it yeah, totally yeah. does look like that.